This 2004 KNS is simply stunning. My name is Philip Tarrant and I'm going to talk to you about this beautiful KN. It's black in colour, it's metallic black with black leather interior and it's done 196,000 kilometres. But it's not your average KN. It's got a number of options. It's got two remote keys to it and it's got an incredible service history with just about every single service ever done on this car at a Porsche dealership. The people who owned it also took out the extended warranty. Um, I believe it was, I think you have to take it out after the initial warranty period every year. And it's very expensive, it's about three and a half thousand dollars. The other thing is for, the, for Porsche to approve an extended warranty, the car has to undergo a major check over by Porsche. And that's what makes these the best cars to buy. If you can find another KN which has had an extended warranty over its life, then that's another car you should be looking at. It's pretty rare. Uh, this car is silky smooth to drive. The gear change is perfect. It's had some engine mounts and gearbox mounts in recent times, which are just wear and tear items. What they do is they transform the car. Most of these, these cars are generally due for that sort of thing, but it was owned by a very fussy individual who um, serviced it perfectly. And he always made sure it was in absolutely tip-top shape. It's got a tow bar. And it's got the tongue as well in the boot. It's got what I think are the best looking Porsche rims. And it's got so many options. It's got air conditioning in the back, soft leather seats, rear blinds, Xenon headlights, navigation, adjustable suspension. So you've got your comfort and sport settings. You can also raise the suspension as well for off-road. Then you've got centre and rear differential. It's got high range and low range. These KNs were a proper off-roader. The new KNs don't have low range. They don't have a transfer case. It's got a very nice set of Pirelli tyres on it. The brakes are in excellent condition. And this is the car that would suit a very fussy buyer. Even though it's done 196,000 Ks, it would still suit a very fussy owner, or buyer I should say. The brakes are good. I can't see any dents or scratches in this car whatsoever. It's got tinted windows. If you go online, type in Porsche Cayenne, kilometres high to low and I think you'll be surprised. I've seen Cayennes advertised with 300, 360,000. I saw a silver one with 400,000 kilometres. So these cars are very reliable if they're looked after. Porsche, generally speaking, make some of the most reliable cars on the planet. It's like when, uh, when you get a 911 and people say, oh, gee, that would that, cost a fortune to run. What's very interesting is it's probably half as much to run as a basic Volkswagen Golf. This is the 911, mind you. Obviously, the KN is surprisingly pretty inexpensive to run, aside from the fuel, obviously. It is a 4.5-litre V8 petrol. And I think that you can achieve around 11 litres to 12 litres per 100 kilometres on the freeway. Around town you're going to be somewhere between 16 and 20, I would think, depending on how you drive it. But generally with a second-hand car, fuel should be the least of your worries. What you should be looking at is service history, general maintenance. You might think, oh, I'll get a diesel because it won't use much diesel. 
won't use much fuel, I'll save money. And you go and get it serviced. It's got an injector problem. It needs a turbo. The particulate filter under the car has packed it in. And you're very cheap to run. Turbo diesel has become one of the most expensive cars on the road to run. So a car like this requires absolutely nothing at the present time. It's got clean oil in it, good tyres, the wheels are all in immaculate condition, the body, the engine mounts have been done, the gearbox is nice and smooth. So if you look after this car moving forward, your general maintenance should be minimal. The air conditioning is cold. The previous owner did spend a sum of money getting it to where it is now. It's had a lot of work done to it at South Australia Porsche, including the mounts, as I mentioned. I believe it's got a new water-cooled pump, water pump. In fact, I'll start it up right now. Again, two keys. Parking sensors front and back. Xenon lights. No lights on the dash, obviously, that's just seat belt and cruise control. Lights on. So it's got Xenon lights, self leveling lights. It's also got um, side lights. So if you look up here, I'm just going to turn the steering wheel. See how that's lit up there? So it's got a number of great features to it. There's a dual zone climb control. It's silky smooth when it goes into gear. It goes instantly into gear and it's very smooth. It revs nicely. It's nice and smooth. And it's overall a very, very impressive car. And just to add to the list of features, it does have a Bose sound system. Notice that it's got what I think are probably one of the best looking alloy wheels. So from every angle, it looks fantastic. And what's also got, not only do you have 250 kilowatts of power, you've got utility. You can fold the back seats down, it's got a rear blind. It's got a net. There's the tongue over here for the tow bar. It's got a rear carpet mat. You'd, I mean, you'd, I think you'd struggle to find a Porsche Cayenne in this condition. Even it's got soft close boot. Even if it only had 50 or 60 thousand kilometres. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like some more information, please feel free to give us a call. You can ask for Philip. That's me, obviously. We're 20 minutes from Sydney Airport. And I think this is a car which needs to be seen and it needs to be driven to be appreciated. Thank you so much for watching. We look forward to hearing from you.